I signed up for the Starlink beta program in November of 2020. In February of this year, 2021, I got to order my Starlink hardware kit. It's now the middle of March and FedEx says they're delivering my kit today. However, a couple of days ago, we just had three and a half feet of snow up here and we are snowed in. I have been unable to plow out yet. So I am hiking down to the county road where I hope to pick up my Starlink kit and pack it back up here to the house so that we can get high speed internet like all the people in town. If you think I'm going to a lot of trouble in order to hook the system up, you probably don't live in a rural area with poor internet service. Most of us out here would do just about anything in order to get the speeds that Starlink promises us. We live in the mountains in north central Colorado. This little backpacking trip will be a small price to pay for the promise of faster internet service. Occasionally, there are little problems that has to be solved in order to enjoy the fantastic scenery that we have up here. Great timing! I know, you just got down? I just walked down. Awesome, how you doing, Russ? Ah, I'm doing great now that you're here. I know, totally. Do you ski down or? <laughs> I hike down. Because oh. I got to hike this back up. I know. There's, a, there's no way anybody's going to drive up no, there. No, no, no. Yeah, I know. I thought maybe you have a snowmobile. You can see the box that it came in. I'm not going to go over all the parts. You probably have two dozen videos that show you unboxing. So, all right, we're on our way. I think we're going to make it. We've made it. Okay, now for the easy part. Let's hook this baby up. I've checked for clear view using the uh, Starlink app. And this is the best I can find without putting it on the roof, which I'm not gonna do today because there's just too much snow. We have about a hundred foot of cable here. One end is attached to the dish. So I have to route the cable through the house with the other end. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Starlink does not recommend adding any extensions to the cable they have. And if you do add an extension, uh, you have to get the right kind and it may uh, affect the uh, performance of the system. So I'm not gonna do that if I can avoid it. Today, there are 1,325 satellites in the air. We ought to be able to hit one of them. So we're gonna give it a try. By the way, uh, NASA and S SpaceX have signed an agreement for collision avoidance with all these satellites going up. They don't want any any problems. Starlink has a collision avoidance system, in fact, to, uh, to help avoid any collisions with satellites. We'll see. Let's hope that works. We'll switch from, the, from here on to hooking up the system and getting it started. I've routed the cable through to my office. I've connected all the cables and plugged it in. Now we want to go to the app on my phone and see what we have to do next. So we'll go to the Starlink app and we'll click Start Setup. I've plugged it all in, so we'll go to Next. Open the Wi-Fi settings. There we go, and Starlink is up there already. So we'll click on Starlink. 
and it says create a name whoa I'm gonna need my glasses for this one all right I set up my Wi-Fi entered my password it says it's trying to establish a connection right now uh, we have a bit of a problem in that not only did we have a big snowfall a few days ago we've got another snowfall right now and this the uh, dish is pretty well coated with snow I'm going out there periodically to wipe it off and hopefully uh, we'll be able to reboot right now if not uh, I may have to wait till the snow stops before we can finish this video so hang in there with me we're trying to get it done I'm posting this Starlink installation video on our adventure motorcycling channel because it could benefit that channel more than anything else. Our upload speeds take forever right now and we expect to see a dramatic improvement with the speeds that Starlink is advertised giving us. So let's see what happens. Whoa, it looks like we are up and running. Let's, uh, let's go to the Starlink app again. Yes, we are up and running. Let's run a speed test and see what we get. Ninety six, ninety seven, ninety one hundred. Whoa, our download speeds are one hundred megabits per second right out of the box. Looks like 43 milliseconds latency. That's good. It's not as good as cable, but certainly better than anything else we could, we've had. And the uploads be 18 megabits per second. We're going to be able to upload videos three or four times faster than, more than that, than we're running right now. So was it worth packing the Starlink hardware up a mountain? And setting it up in a snowstorm? Oh yeah. 100 megabits per second. Thanks for watching. Next time, let's go for a ride.